What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video. As you guys know, I am a gamer, I'm always on my PlayStation 4, I'm always playing video games on my free time. So I decided I'm going to make a mini-series on my channel, where I explain and share some of my favorite video games on different consoles that I've owned. Keyword, that I've owned. I'm not going to talk about the Xbox, because I've never had an Xbox before. I'm just going to focus on the consoles that I had growing up. Starting with my first console, the NES, that's going to be the one that I'm doing today. Also, I want to mention I'm only going to be sharing the games that I've played. Now, this isn't the top games for the NES, it's just the top games that I had and I remember playing as a kid on the NES. I'm sure there's a lot of gems that I've never had and I've never gotten to experience. When I get the NES again, because whenever I was younger I did sell mine, I plan on getting one again and starting my collection off, starting with some of these games, the ones from my childhood that I remember, and then expanding into other ones. So if your favorite NES game is not on my list, I do apologize. It's just because I've never played it and never owned it. So let's get right into this. So up first is Excite Bike. Now this game here was a, an amazing time waster basically. It's for me, uh, basically it is a dirt bike racing game. It was a lot of fun. It was very simple game. It was one of the more simpler NES games, but it was still a lot of fun because of the idea behind it, that it is a dirt bike racing game. Uh, for me, my favorite mode was where you get to go and customize your own track with all the different jumps and other obstacles that are in the game. It was a lot of fun doing that, but this used to be something that I used to play all the time with the family. We'd all basically take turns and racing, and I can't remember the game exactly, uh, everything about the game, but this was one of my favorite games I used to play all the time. Next up is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, there were three of these games. I only had number one and two. So the first one was basically where you'd go into the sewers, you'd fight your enemies, and then you'd basically go from sewer to sewer, and then you'd go up above ground, and then go to the next sewer. So it was like you're, it was almost like Super Mario whenever you're choosing the world. That was basically the idea behind it. It was a lot of fun. I did like that one, but my favorite one was the second one, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade version. That was my favorite one, just going through. The boss battles were amazing. It was basically like you're going down an extremely long hallway, an almost never-ending hallway, and you'd basically choose your turtle, and then you'd go on your adventure, basically. You can do, uh, I think it was two-player. A lot of fun. The boss, bottles were, the boss battles were fun. It was just, all in all, an amazing game, and I had a lot of fun on it. The third one, sadly, I've never played. It was uh, Manhattan or something like that. I plan on getting it whenever I get my NES again and trying it out. I just never played it as a kid. The next one for me is Super Mario Bros. Now, this is the one that was included with Duck Hunt whenever you bought your NES. Now, for me, I remember having Super Mario Bros. as Super Mario Bros. 2 and 3. I wasn't a fan of 2 just because I didn't know anything about the turnips. I didn't know what that was all about. I used to play the game, but I never really enjoyed it. The first one for me, uh, the first Super Mario Bros. was the first Mario game that I remember playing. So that is why it is one of my favorite ones. It is basically a classic version of Mario. Now, a uh, little reminder is, if I'm referring to Mario, I might say Mario just because... Where I, when I grew up with it, that's what my family called him. They didn't say Mario, they said Mario. So I'm trying my best to say Mario, but if you hear me say Mario, that is why. I also remember playing Super Mario Bros. 3, and that is basically where you could choose the world. So you can go and you can find hidden worlds, and you go basically world to world. That one was co-op as well. You basically, one person went, then the next person went. It was a lot of fun. But I remember the first one, Super Mario Bros, and the third one the most. Those must be the two that I played the most as a kid. Next up is Duck Hunt. Now, Duck Hunt, I can't remember what the gun was actually called, but it was basically a, a gun that you aimed at your TV, and it's just like the name suggests. You're basically hunting for ducks in the game, and you'd have your gun, and you basically shoot the NES gun at your screen, and you'd shoot the ducks out of the sky. And basically, it was just to see who could get the most ducks, who can get the highest score and this was definitely a great family game we'd remember i'd remember us just basically all taking turns and seeing who can get the most points it was a lot of fun sadly i cannot play this game right now if i did have the nes and i did have the trigger gun 
because it only works with the old box televisions. I only have flat screens right now. I have one upstairs, but it doesn't really work the best. So if I did get an NES, Duck Hunt, and the Trigger game, I would have to find an old TV to be able to play it just because they're not compatible with the flat screen TVs. I really hope to find one, but by the time I get an NES, it's going to be almost near impossible for me to get a box TV. I really wish they would make something that is compatible with flat screen TVs that you'd be able to adapt it to. I think that'd be worth looking into and somebody creating. But for me, even if I can't play Duck Hunt, I still want it for my collection. I still want the trigger gun for my collection and just to have the nostalgia behind it. Even if I can't play it again, it was part of my childhood and I definitely would like to see it back in my collection. Next up is Blades of Glory. It was the only NES cocky game that I owned. Now, it wasn't in association with NHL. It wasn't like the Wayne Gretzky games back then. I think it was on its own. None of the teams that are in the game are actually NHL teams. However, some of the cities were mentioned like Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, where there is an actual NHL team. And the colors for the actual teams were the colors that you played in the game. It was basically 8-bit hockey. It was a lot of fun. I remember playing this one the most. As a Canadian and a huge hockey fan, this was definitely something that I played all the time on my free time back whenever I had the NES. It was especially something that used to be able to play with their family. One team, my dad would always play Toronto. I would always switch it up and choose different teams. And we basically go at it in hockey. So it was always a lot of fun. The fights were even more intense back then. It was a lot more uh, funnier and stuff like that than the current NHL games. So it's definitely something I'd like to see back in my collection and get a chance to play again. And it was definitely one of my favorite games back whenever I was a kid. And the last one is Kirby's Adventures. This for me was by far my favorite game that I've ever played on the NES. And it's definitely going to be the first game that I purchased whenever I get my NES back. So this game for me, I used to remember inhaling enemies and then pressing down on the D-pad and becoming whatever superpower that they had. So if they had a sword, then all of a sudden you had a sword. If they breathed fire, then you would be able to breathe fire. So that was my favorite part of it, is being able to take that uh, your enemy's abilities and have them in your own character. I think that was a blast. That was one of my favorite things. It was a lot of fun going world to world, getting to unlock different doors and stuff like that. Even the boss battles were a lot of fun. Now for me, I'm not one that really likes games that have boss battles. I don't usually play them too much, but this game here, Kirby's Adventures, was a lot of fun. It was very unique, and I enjoyed it. It did have, I think, a save feature on it. It's definitely going to be something that I plan on getting back in my collection. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of this game. This had to be the game that I played the most as a kid, and it's definitely my favorite NES game out there. So... If I get back into collecting again, if I do find an NES, I'm not only going to get these games again, I plan on expanding and getting other games. I do have a small list right now of games that I'd like to get, so I might update this list in the future, but I only wanted to include games that I have owned and that I have played before. So as a kid, these are the games that I owned, and these were my favorite games on the NES. To me, I just think it's unfair to talk about other games if I've never experienced them and I've never played them. And that's not what I wanted to do for this little series. Like I said, I might update it in the future, but these were my favorite games on the NES, and I just love them all. By far, Kirby's Adventure for me would be number one, but all the other ones, in my opinion, are pretty much tied to be equal. I enjoy them all the same, but Kirby's Adventure would be my favorite NES game. I am going to leave this video here. Comment down below which is your favorite NES game, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.